Some people say that as you get older, time passes faster because every new year makes up a smaller and smaller fraction of your life. But before we try to slow down our lives, we need to go back a few years. So when we were young, it felt like time was infinite. Head empty, mind buzzing, everything was new. Time was going by so slowly. Now, life is a bit more rushed. So we have less time to be present. We run on autopilot and the days are starting to really fly by. I'm on a mission to slow the passing of time in my life. But to explain how I'm doing that, let me tell you a story. So I spent some months in Seattle, but now it's time to drive back home. <laughs> so I asked my dad, hey, do you want to go on a road trip with me? He laughs and says, really? <laughs> Let's go. And asks, so how long does it take to get to Texas? I open up Google Maps. Holy, that's far. I propose a seven day route back home. This is how he responds. <laughs> Looks like we're speed running it. Abba. I hadn't seen my dad in months, so seeing him in person confirmed why I was doing all this. I haven't had this much one-on-one -on -one time with just my dad in years. You see, by throwing ourselves into new situations, we expose ourselves to new events out of the ordinary. By flooding our senses with new experiences, we become hyper-aware of our surroundings, bringing us into the present. So I've noticed that rigid routine really contributes to the speed up of time. Take the first week of school for instance, it feels like time just drags on forever and ever. But after a few weeks of following the same schedule, days just start flying by and the semester is over before you know it. We tend to filter out repeated stimuli, so in turn we end up storing less memories and time goes by faster. So by seeking novelty, we can introduce new points of interest for our brains to pay attention to. Like going on a trip with just your dad, because now that you have time together, you want to get to know him better as a human being rather than a father figure. Let's go. And you can have deep conversations about life between the two of you. Bye bye. So tagging your memories. We have the ability to experience the same event an unlimited amount of times. You're in the car and a specific song starts playing and you suddenly get transported back in time to when you first heard it. This feeling is something really powerful and it means that anything can trigger your memory and replay an event, allowing you to re-experience moments that have already passed. So other than finding theme songs for memories, how else can we plant our memories in the physical world to recreate that feeling of nostalgia? Google Maps. Whenever you're traveling, mark every location you go. Restaurants, parks, even gas stations and grocery stores. There's memories everywhere to keep, no matter how mundane they are. So now, whenever I search a location, I may stumble upon an old bookmarked spot, and I can recall exactly what happened then. Take photos and videos. The easiest way to have something to look back on is by recording these moments on our phones. But be frugal and intentional with your photos and videos. You'll be less motivated to look back at your camera roll if it's filled with rows of duplicates. Anyway, the easiest way to slow it on time is by making valuable memories that stick in our minds. Every time we re-experience a past memory, it strengthens our ability to retrieve that memory again in the future. So why not choose a theme song for your next picture Hi. and take photos Hi. every chance you get. <laughs> okay, process your thoughts. You see, seeking new experiences has always been a core pillar of how I want to live life. But until recently, I didn't notice the benefit you can get from actively reflecting on these moments. I'd move on from one experience to another without processing the takeaways I learned. Now, here's how I see it. When we experience things, we are taking in unprocessed information and storing it as half-baked thoughts and memories. But to really get the most value out of our experiences, we need to take time to organize and make sense of it all. Imagine it kind of like a mental audit. I found that doing this helps me to remember the important parts of experiences, the people I grew close with, the life lessons I learned, and the beautiful things I'd seen. And doing so, my mental catalog of past events grows. So looking back, I notice that I can remember more of my life. So whether we're traveling to new places or experiencing our everyday mundane lives, I found that writing out our lingering thoughts really helps us make sense of our experiences. It's something about bringing our thoughts into the physical world on paper that helps me come to conclusions about thoughts swirling in my mind. 
like the fact that every new thing I learn about my dad demystifies him. He's just a dude figuring out how to be a parent, and he's just living life as it comes. And I don't ever want to forget that. So yes, although days can be long, the years just fly by. So I hope you found that at least one of the things I shared could be helpful in slowing down your life. And remember, life isn't the sprint. Hell, it's not even a marathon. Sometimes it's okay to stop running and just enjoy the view. Abu, do you want to rush with me? Yes, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break their ears. <laughs>